Coming down at three. Coming down at two. Okay. Set the clock. Forty-two feet coming down at two. Forty coming down at two. Looking good. Watch that. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty feet. Coming down at two feet. You got plenty of gas. Plenty of gas, dude. Hang in there. Thirty seconds. Eighteen feet coming down at two. He's got it made. Come on in there. Twenty-four feet. Contact light. Roger. Copy contact. Rock. Pro. Yeah, pro. Okay. You haven't got anything to do since this weekend. Hey, I'll tell you what we're parked next to. Yeah. We're about 25 feet in front of the surveyor. Face it. Yeah, sure. That's where we're going to be. I, got, I, I bet you when I get down to the bottom of the ladder, I can see the surveyor. I think we got you want to go this weekend, Pete. Sounds good, Pete. Just like you wanted. Just swing her out here. That's right. Okay, now hold her door just a second, please, okay? One second. Do you have any TV, Houston? Roger, we've got a TV. No Pete Conrad is yet. I'm at the top of the ladder. Okay, now look, this thing is all the way out of the tower. How do you want me to do it? Do you want me to do it? Huh? Adios. No, but this thing isn't all the way out of the... That's okay. Let me have this in a minute. Back up, back up the ladder, don't you? Okay. Attaboy. Which end is that? End of our one. This here we go. Here we go. Look at that stuff, Bill. That is sure flies in that sex, Bill. Yep. Looks like we got 900 feet of this stuff. Okay, just a second. Go, go down yet. I gotta get my camera on you, dude. I can't get in yet, anyway. I gotta look. I can see all the way down. Okay? Here we go. You're coming into the picture now, Pete. Okay. Okay, got the old camera on it. Okay. Down to the, the pit. Okay. Man, that may have been a small one for Neil, but that's a long one for me. Like somebody. 
shine on a spotlight in your hand. Well, I can walk pretty well. Uh, uh, now, but I gotta take it easy and watch what I'm doing. But I can never believe it. Look what I see sitting on the side of the crater. Real surveyor, a real surveyor, yes sir. <laughs> Does that look neat? It can't be any further than 600 feet from here. How about that? Well planned, baby. Okay. Okay. A little chewy to do here, right? Okay, Jake? Okay, that was well planned, Pete. Yeah, just a couple of months uh, with a lot of people. Let's see, deploy the OEC and the Mesa that's done. I'm looking at my mobility. DG shift. I have the desired impression I don't want to move too rapidly. But I can walk quite well. That current surveyor really is sitting on the side of a steep slope, I'll tell you that. Okay, so I'll give you some examples. Gotta walk real careful, Al. Okay, did you see me all right? Not yet. At least step back in the window for a second. Okay, window in a hurry. You might suspect from some of the pictures Neil brought back, gang. Uh, I have a several small lots sitting out in front of me that have uh, a deep a mound of dirt built up around them. I'm not sure that my decent engine didn't blow them there, but uh, then again, it may not have. Under beat, copy that. Okay, the dirt build up on the uh, side closest to the limb. Well, let me, uh, I'll throw it over to get my biggest example, and I'll get one of the rocks uh, in the sample. And, uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, it is built up on the side that. The lamb landed on. Let me get it. Oh, there's one scoop. There's another with some more rocks in it. Hi. It's dirt just like the 16G airplane now. Flies up in the air. You can chase it around. Yeah. Well, I'll take you know, this spot, it, it really is. It's just like somebody's got a, a super bright spotlight. Here's another good looking rock. Whoops. In the temple. There's another rock I want to get in it. That's about enough, don't you? Look, there's one, one big rock too pretty to pass up. No, I think that'd be a hog. Won't fit. Go over here and get this other one. Oh, well, you sure lean forward, Gene. Hey, lean forward. I feel like I'm going to fall over in any direction. we are leaning about Hey, Houston, one of the first things that I can see, my golly, is little glass feet. I got a about a quarter of an inch in sight, and I'm going to put it in a contingency sample bag. I can get it. I got it. Am I really leaning over now? Sure are you. I know that you fall over, I believe. 
not on earth and fall over me that far far me. But he's a little weird, I'll tell you. It's good. Don't think you're going to steam around here quite as fast as you thought you were. Then you, your boots are digging in the soil quite a bit. And you don't pick up your feet, you really kick a, a load of dirt ahead of you. And that foot's got a big mound ahead of the right now to push it along. Uh-oh. Did I hear a tone? Yeah, I got an H2O. Hey. You do? Yeah, I wonder why. Hey, Houston. Hey, I'll verify uh, feed water's on. Fish. It's been on. It's still on. Boy, do I think that. Wow. Feed water's on. It's still real cool in here. Al, diverter valve to minimum. Okay, it's minimum now. What do you think I may have done, uh, broken through the detonator or something? That's the perimeter valve. Well, you have a good shot of you there, Pete. Now, how's the uh, feed water look now? Well, it's still got an A in there, but I'm plenty cool. I went back to minimum, and I'm sitting here at minimum. What do you think happened? Now we'd like to watch with a bit. It could be instrumentation. Stand by. You've been out uh, 25 minutes, and you're about four minutes ahead. Okay, I got the table out. This is a paper. I'm 
Four minutes into the EVA, and you're right up, right on the nominal timeline.
I may have put the two of the bag too full. sampled in quite a few places, she says, so I'm taking a bunch of pictures. Roger, Pete. Pete, for your information, for those photos, your shadow lines right now is about 45 feet on a level plane. Okay. Very good. Uh, contingency sample area, I got display the color chart. <laughs> Take your time now. Hey, I'm learning to do it. Stand by on that. 
Houston, the uh, limb is looking good. Uh, here you go for egress. See, you're at uh, 40 minutes into the timeline, and you're about four minutes ahead. Give us uh, the status on the uh, limb. 
And also uh, some comments on your boot penetration. Okay, my comments are exactly the same as Neil. And Bill, every time I get there with these little breakers, I think it a lot further. I say our footsteps are sticking here. Put it over by the line here. I think I'm going to cover that rock box for the later. I'm going to land to the king. And, uh, uh, I'll just tell you the Uh, you want to know if the inner mass is one or two sections? Roger, Al. 
Hey, it's real nice moving around up here. I don't think they get tired. It really hot like a bunny. Where, oh, where is Earth? There it is. Here's the TV. And, let me sit there. Going towards the sun, that's there. Over here, baby. Right image on that TV. Could you either move it or uh, stop it down? Okay, I'm going to have to stop it down. Actually, as far as it goes, it's just an out-of-depth look to you. No, it's still the same, Al. Why don't you try shifting the scene? Try the uh, automatic light control to the outside. at the top and uh, blacked out at the uh, offer 80% of the bottom. any change at all. Uh, why don't you go ahead and take and put your glove in front of the uh, lens, but not over it, to see whether we can get any change at all. What do you see now? It's still the same, Al. We've got a uh, very bright uh, part, about 20% of the top, and a uh, black at the bottom. Take a good close look at that lens and make sure it's in our configuration. Okay. I've got it on it. Focus at infinity. I've got the zoom at 30. 40 or 50. I put it at 75. And I got the f-stop at 22. Roger, I'll be copy. Exactly opposite of the sun here, so uh. Well, we see no change at all in the uh, scene. 
Why don't you just give it a little tap and maybe the color wheel will come up. Oh, I gotta go the other way, I guess. 
Uh, one hour and two minutes, and you're both running about uh, two minutes off now, behind. Copy your comment on uh, the insertion of that into the ground. How far in are you able to get it?
you said I'm going to move the focus. Move the focus a bit and see what happens. Roger, Al, go ahead. Don't uh, spend uh, too much time on it. You're running a tad behind. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I can feel that the wheels, when I hold them, when I hold the end of the, uh, the lens, I can feel the, uh, the wheels running because I can feel something in motion inside. Okay, now, I've just changed completely the settings I had before. Okay, Al, we see no change down here. Too, but I can Point your stuff out. Okay, here, let me try another F stop, the other way. How's that? That's no change down here, Al. That's coming in there now, Al. Okay, what change did you make? I, I hit it on the top with my hammer. I figured we didn't have a thing to lose. Skillful fix, Al. Yeah, it's still crappy to shoot the hammer on that. Yes, and still craftsmanship. Hey, that, Al, gets it. That's all. That's all that he hears this thing. Never touched it. Okay. Now, what should we do now with the lens? Okay, uh, why don't you give it, uh, one more light wrap and also uh, cut down on the F stop. All right, we'll do. Now, does the zoom right for you? Hey, Al, we're still not getting a good picture. Why don't you press on and we'll uh, try to get back to it later if we have time. Okay, I'll count it a little bit. There you go. I'll uh, just leave it like it is. Bring it slightly towards the left here. So that if you do get a picture, you can see it. There you go. And that ought to get you some sort of a picture that you can think about. You'd be glad to come back and look at it. I go to work. Yeah. Now, what I need is a piece of tape. The fact. Well, there's all kinds of tape around here. Pete, go ahead. Okay, the flag is up. I just hop the flag is up. We show you uh, very close to the nominal timeline. How about a uh, EMU check? Okay. Yes, we have the flag up. Like I said, I hope everybody down there is proud of it. If we had to put it up. Pete, and we're proud of what you're doing.
Roger, Pete. How's the hell doing? Good. 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 Hope you were broken up. Say again. We can track it too. Pete, we have uh, Clipper both and you both on the same uh, end of the ground. Clipper, go ahead. Say again. Uplink squelch enabled. LMP connect the Plifcom audio CD.
Ian. Let's vote LMC to A. A. Hello there. Richard Ott Murphy. Re read you the same. Should have a tone on, a vent flag, a P, and a press flag O. Got it. Let's go to press gauge greater 75. It is. We got a good comp check with me. No, not so we don't need that. The commander is going to put comp. Let's get up. Hold the card. Peace off, okay. Let's move Commander to B. Oh, you get no missed in reception. Hello there, I read you loud and clear. I got a press low flag. Read you the same. I got an O2 flag and I got 80%. Okay, vent flag B and a press flag O. Here's what I've got. You can have an O2 to begin with. Do you have got an O2 press the vent? O2 will go out in a minute. Okay. Yeah. Okay, is this O2 greater than 75? Yep. Okay, the farm car is at that. This mode, uh, not the use, John will be in your delay. Are you here? Not clear. Did you the same? If this mode, both of them may are. How do you read? Loud clear. Houston, uh, Intrepid, how do you read? Intrepid, we read, we both loud and clear. Very good, very good. Okay, Houston, uh, LMP's O2 quantity is 80%. 80% copy. Okay. And so is the C and CDR 80% also. Roger. Okay, we're opening the TV circuit breaker right now.